Hey guys, Dr. Kyle Loveless here. I wanna to come to you today about uh, some of the comments we've gotten on YouTube. Really great, great questions. I'm sorry that people were asking. Uh, and this question by Vicky I wanted to talk about. It says, I am on Otesla. Can I take these supplements with it? And this is, she's talking about a psoriasis video on what supplements to take for psoriasis. And absolutely you can, Vicky. And there's a quick answer to this and a long answer. I'm gonna start out with the quick. The quick answer is, the problem, and, and I understand if, if your body's inflamed and, and it's itchy and stuff, medications have their place, but they're blocking, this medication blocks inflammation. Inflammation is actually a good thing. Though it causes, seems to be causing some of the problems, it is also what heals our body. So we don't wanna block it, right? And these medications will block it. So we want a different approach. So the approach I'm gonna recommend taking is to actually figure out why your body's creating a chronic inflammatory response. This is the question we wanna be asking because you know our body is made to heal itself. It doesn't need help healing, it just needs no interference and our body can get stuck in this process of over having to overreact to so many different stressors that are coming into it. They could be chemical stress, they could be physical stress, could be emotional stress, and all those things combined, our body's response to those stress is actually part of it is that inflammatory response, right? When we become uh, stressed, whether it's physical, chemical, or emotional, our body does the same thing. So if you're in a car accident, a physical stress, if you're in a, uh, if you come across a bunch of mold, a chemical stress, or you eat a really bad diet, a chemical stress, or let's say someone just, uh, you know, uh, pulled you pulled pulled it, or, or ran cut you off I can't talk cut you off on the road and you're kind of aggravated about that and you are you got in a car accident right emotional stress so the, our body does the same thing. The heart rate goes up, the blood pressure goes up, our cortisol goes up, our uh, cholesterol actually will start to increase because our body uses cholesterol to produce cortisol. That's actually the precursor to it. It's also the precursor to testosterone, estrogen, all of our, uh, our hormones in our body. So cholesterol is essential for our health. Don't let anybody tell you different. But all those things go up. You remember your thyroid actually starts to slow down in this process. Your adrenals go up, your thyroid has to come down. So you're gonna see lower thyroid production. You're gonna see, or hormone production. You're gonna see reduction in digestion. You're going to slow digestion. Remember, when you're trying to survive, you don't need to digest food right now. We need to survive. Reproductive system is going to lower. You want to know why we see so much reproductive issues in our world today with infertility? It's because everybody's so stressed, they're stuck in a fight or flight response and the body's slowing down reproduction because that's a different mode. And so our body does all these things. Now I might've missed something in that process that happens, but um, essentially our body goes into fight or flight mode instead of rest, relax, digest food, sleep mode, okay? And so that's a good thing in the moment. After cortisol is produced, our body converts cortisol to cortisone, which is an anti-inflammatory, and that's our body's natural way of bringing that inflammation back down, pulling the body out of this kind of fight or flight response back into homeostasis, which is healing, and that's where your body heals itself. So another question I got, is there a cure or can you cure psoriasis? And this is a great question because we've been taught our whole lives that a cure is what we need. But I, I, my first response is I don't even like the word cure and the reason is is because it's a medical myth. We don't wanna cure anything. It's you want your body in balance and your body will heal itself. And if your body gets back out of balance, guess what's coming back? probably for you that psoriasis because your body's susceptible to that change and that seems to be where your body's going and genetics play a role in that and everything else. But so we, no, it doesn't cure anything, but what we can do is get your body back in balance so it heals itself. And when your body's healing itself, that's when you get into balance. So you don't need things like, I mean, you don't have to worry about heart disease, cancer, diabetes, psoriasis, all these health issues if you keep your body in balance. And the stuff I'm teaching you and, and we're constantly bringing to you on this channel is about you becoming your own health expert. You know, a lot of the questions I'll get on YouTube and, and from patients are broad questions like, what about milk thistle? What about vitamin C? What about uh, this diet or that diet? What about eating nightshades versus this? And those are great questions that you should be asking yourself individually. But when I'm talking to a whole group of people, I'm gonna tell them the stuff that, the core stuff that we all need to start with. And so that idea of we're not looking for a cure is that, that we all need to start with that. We're looking to get our body in balance so it heals at its optimal level. I would even say, take the psoriasis as hard as it is. And I know this because I've had, I had psoriasis for majority majority of my life until about five years, five, I don't even know when it went away, maybe six, seven years ago, I've had psoriasis the rest of my life before that. And so I know how severe it is. And so I don't say this lightly, but what, I, what, I'm, what I'm getting at is almost forget about it. Like uh, forget about the symptom, although the symptom drives you to make change, forget about it in terms of uh, whether something is working or not working based on whether it goes away. And what I mean by that is if, if you're 
uh, if you're eating good, healthy food and you know that food, you've done maybe food allergy testing and you've worked with your body to see how your body digests food well and you're steaming your vegetables and you're eating healthy organic uh, vegetables and grass-fed free-range organic meats and animals are being raised the way they're supposed to be raised and you're eating a small amount of food, not a ton of food, right? One of the things that people that live to 100 have in common is they don't eat a lot. Right? Maybe you're doing some fasting here and there. Maybe you're taking supplements like uh, vitamin D, maybe vitamin C. Maybe you're doing things that are just you know, taking liver and organ meats. You're doing all these things that are great for your body, but the psoriasis doesn't go away. It isn't that those didn't, aren't working. It means you're, it's not the full picture yet. You haven't completed the puzzle yet. And so it's, it's not that you have to have more vitamin C or more of this or more of that. It's that we need to keep investigating. And maybe you work with someone to help you figure out what it is for you that's going to get you healthy um, because it's not always um, just a broad stroke of everybody take this. You know, I can tell everybody take turmeric because in general, it's pretty good for everybody and helping them handle inflammation. Some people that take turmeric, all their joint problems are going to go away. Some people that take turmeric, their psoriasis is going to disappear but others it's not. And so that's a part of the picture, shifting and, and trying to learn those things, so becoming your own health expert. So I guess what I'm trying to say through this whole video is that um, from the beginning, we don't wanna reduce, some, we don't wanna block inflammation, we wanna get a body to where its immune response is working the way it's supposed to, and there's not constant stress on it that's causing inflammation. By looking at our diet, by looking at our emotional health and the things around us in our world and the people that we're hanging out with, by looking at our physical health, are we sitting all day long on a computer? By looking at our toxic health or chemical health, by saying, hey, are we around chemicals all the time? Or am, I, am I around cleaning products? Am I around um, you know, chem chemicals in my environment all the time? Is there mold in my house? Do I have amalgam fillings? These are all the questions you start to look at when you're investigating. And then finally, the mindset, am I getting enough sleep at night so I can recover? right? Or do I have to take a medication to sleep? So it's taking all those things, put them together and saying, okay, here's why I need to get my body in balance and just keep investigating. Sometimes you're going to get amazing things happen and sometimes it's going to go backwards, but that's what health is. It's a continuum. It's not a destination.